All right, we're going to load up a few shells on this Lee load all. This is the first one. So the only real difference between the load all one and two is the load all ones have a cast. It's either aluminum or a zinc base. And I prefer that because it's a nice sturdy press. It's not, um, the load all two is plastic and I don't think you get as good of a crimp with it. Anyways, we have five odd shells that I wanted to use up. We're almost out of powder. Uh, my next trip to the range when I come back, I got about half a box full of wads. And then uh, we're changing over to a different setup. So we got these five odd shells. We'll show you how she goes. Remington gun clubs are an eight point which is the front crimp these these are challenger halls challenger head stamp these are a cheddite hall challenger is a canadian company they they bring in all their products i, I believe they bring in primed halls i don't know for sure but i suspect they bring in primed halls and they load everything in canada they make pretty good stuff i like it but uh Slightly larger primer pockets, not enough to to um, make a difference. But these are thinner than these, so there's going to be an extra step when we get to them. So let's start with these here. Um, if you're using this breech plate system, I recommend having a safety pin in the back that you can drop down through it to hold it on your bench because over time this will work out. The steel plates that the press mount on. They have a little nubs on them that kind of helps hold them in place. But the wooden ones, they will pop off and it's not uh, not very nice. It's hard on the shins. Alright, so that's our sizing die. So on this stroke, we size and deprime. I take a new primer, set it in there. Now there is an option on these presses. I don't, I don't have it in this one. I'm, I had it. I don't know where it went. But there's a little bushing that kind of aligns stuff. You drop your your uh, hull in or your primer in and it lines it up. I just stick it in there. So this stage will prime it and take the, take the ring off. Now this looks like it's real hard to operate. It's because I'm standing off to the side and I'm, not everything's happening the way it really should be. All right, drops the powder. In with the wad, in with the shot. Uh, eight point. You'll see, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's some paint missing there. The, uh, it was corroding underneath the powder coat a little bit. And it was making the shell set funny. So every time I went to do a pre-crimp, it was catching because the shell wasn't... Anyway, I'll fix it later. Pre-crimp. And then a finished crimp. And there we have a nice, nice shell. Now if you look, that little tiny open part in the end there. Oh, geez, I hope you can see this. Anyway, there's just one little tiny opening. I can take this, put a roll crimp, crimper die, and it'll put a nice taper on there and close that little hole right up. Now the mechs, they do a little bit better job. They put a little more taper on and it would close that up anyway. All right, let's do another one. So these are two and three quarters. If I were loading three inch shells, all I would do is move this up a quarter inch. There's two holes in the back of it. Drop the powder.
And there we have it. Sometimes what I like to do is give it a quarter turn and do another little crimp. Doesn't seem to make a difference on these ones. All right, now we got some Cheddite hauls. Not really Cheddite, they're Challenger hauls, which are manufactured for Challenger by Cheddite. Now, the primer will go about three quarters of the way in on this, on these hauls. Like I said, that primer pocket's about a thousandths larger. There is a primer pocket conditioner that will solve that problem. All right, now, because these holes are, are uh, thinner and it's a straight walled hull compared to a tapered hull, there's two things I have to do to load these with the press the way it's set up for the gun club ones. So first off, we need, oh, I didn't go in straight. I need to add this over powder card. I usually go in right, that one might be a little bigger than it should be, a different way. Yeah, that one in right. Okay, so this does two things. One, it puts a flat base on this, so that little pocket on the bottom of it doesn't fill up, which brings it up to the right height to get a good crimp. And the second thing, is it stops powder from leaking up past because I wasn't doing that at first and I found a lot of powder was working its way up. Um, these holes you can't see through but they do have some you can see through and you can see a lot of powder up here. So by putting that over powder card that solves that issue. point so that's in the front and with these presses what I always do yeah it's not the best Th this one had a crack in it but I think it'll crimp fine yeah it's still crimp crimp pretty good um, if you take a look at the way the crimp starters are indexed in this you want to set this on so the minor diameter which is the narrow spot is pointing straight towards you and straight away and it's the same on both of them on this press I, I know it is because I just looked at it yesterday after I seen somebody else do a video saying that one was opposite the other now maybe this is old production and maybe his was old production I don't know but on this one you have to uh, have to set them up that way. Got the powder. It can be a little bit, I'm only tapping that because I'm down to the bottom of the BBs. It can be a little bit deceiving if you're not familiar with the press because when you drop your powder you hear BBs coming down. What it actually is just the BBs flowing down into the charge bar. For the, this stage. <laughs> I was talking instead of instead of uh, paying attention. I forgot to put the wad in. Easy fix. Good little crimp. Crimp start, whatever. See? Beautiful little crimp on that one. I haven't gone through these. I gotta go through all my holes after the next trip to the skeet range. Some of them are cracked, and uh, I wanna identify them because they'll come up with a less than ideal crimp. 
I want to identify them as I shoot and then separate them. You'll notice this leaks a little bit of powder. That's just a reload off kind of thing. They do that. Usually just with the real fine powders. And this is Trap 100 or Winchester 452. And uh, I don't worry too much about it. It might drop a few a few pieces extra or a few not enough. It's never been an issue for me. There we go. Now you might notice that the Challenger crimps do look a little nicer than the Gun Club ones. But I'm not going to say it's by design, but primarily I've loaded Challenger hauls. I do a fair amount of these, but you're really stuck with the bushings you have. There's only so many bushings you can get for these. They come in a set. You don't buy extra ones or anything. But there is a guy out of Ukraine selling an adjustable charge bar for this. And I've ordered one. We're going to try it out whenever it comes. It'll be after Christmas sometime, I'm sure. And uh, we'll see how that works. That might really help with fine-tuning loads. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope, uh, hope somebody enjoyed the video and finds it useful. And we'll talk to you next time.